Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Hamilton Beach, the Scoop, model 49987. So this does not do K-cups. It is a single serve coffee maker. It only does coffee grounds. Ground at a medium grind for like a normal drip coffee maker. So it looks really nice. It's got this like Keurig handle that you lift up. This is, this is called the Scoop because there's the Scoop. So you... You're going to scoop out your coffee grounds and then you put them in here. This is another filter basket that the scoop sits into, but both of them have got like this wire mesh filter material. Seems very well made. There is a max line on there. It will hold up to three tablespoons. Again, you put it there. There's where the hot water is going to come out. And then when you push it down, just snap it down. That's the brew button. There's a, bold, there's a bold setting. There's only an 8 ounce and a 14 ounce. That's it. There's nothing in between. Um, so it's mainly for a cup of coffee. Or if you want to do a travel mug, you're going to do 14 ounce, which you're going to add a different quantity for a travel mug. So you'll put... Um, so for the 8 ounce setting, you'll put 1.5 tablespoons in. I'll probably put about 2 tablespoons in. For the 14 ounce, you're going to put 3 and the most you can put in here is three tablespoons, but I found it will hold, to that max line, it'll hold almost about three and a half tablespoons. Again, we just push it down. And it's got this removable water reservoir in the back that holds 40 ounces. It's got a nice display of the numbers on this side and on that side also, which you can sort of see from the front. I like that, I like that option. There's a nice big handle right here to grab the water tank. And the water tank has a hinged lid. And there is a place for a water filter. I'm going to do a separate video on how to install a water filter. It does not come with a water filter, though. So again, that's ice hinged. This is not dishwasher safe. And then it just slides back on this track. So it's got a very nice look to it. This is, this is about seven and a quarter inches. This is not very, this is really short when this is installed. But a typical coffee mug doesn't fit under there. It's got the nice, the drip tray is not removable, but it, you know, it's gonna catch some. I would rather see like a little cup you could pull out. Instead, you're just gonna have to wipe this off. This stays put. You can, you can clean this though. Again, just standard coffee like you'd, you'd put in a drip coffee maker at a medium roast. If you grind your own, it's just a medium grind. Okay, so let's take this out. This has to be dry in order for you to use it as a scoop. Because otherwise you'll get a bunch of coffee grounds on the outside. But yeah, it works pretty good as a scoop. You don't really want coffee grounds on the outside nor up towards the lip. But yeah, it does work that way. So there I've got my three tablespoons. So it's a little hard to judge. That's for a 14 ounce mug. So there's not really another line for like two tablespoons. So let's just put, I'm gonna do the eight ounce. I'm gonna put two tablespoons. So one, two. So two tablespoons fills it up to like right there, which is about half full. So again, we've gotta have both of these in there. This is. This is like the other filter and then down, this, none of this comes out. That's like a funnel that's gonna funnel the coffee to come out the bottom. Really nothing, there's like a seal here, but none of this comes out. And this goes one way, it's got this like little lip. Make sure that's pointed towards you so that the scoop can kind of fit there. See how the scoop fits there and it sticks out. And then you just press this down. Now you're gonna select either eight ounce or 14 ounce, whether you want a bold brew or not. I'm gonna, first one I'm gonna do is an eight ounce normal cup of coffee. This is the brew button. This is not a power button. It looks like a power button, like you would turn that on and then you would press the brew. That's not the case. So when we're ready, we're gonna press that button. Okay, so let's time it. There's the brew button, it's red. And always make sure you got enough water in your, I should have checked before, but I've got enough water in my reservoir for an eight ounce brew. So it's not super loud. 
and we're getting coffee coming out right away. Okay, that's about 177, 178. It looks really strong. One eighty eight coming out. One ninety one, one ninety three, it's ramping up pretty quick. One ninety five. That's some pretty hot coffee. So it's really quick. It started brewing almost as soon as I pressed that button. It's not loud. I'm getting quite a bit of steam. It does have high altitude mode. I'm going to do a separate video on that. If you're getting a bunch of steam and not much water out, you got to put your machine in high altitude mode if you live like in Denver. Almost 200 degrees at the end. That's pretty, that's a pretty hot cup of coffee. So it's done. And our cup of coffee is 172. Yeah, that's really hot. You're going to have to be very careful with this, this coffee. That's it. That's a very hot cup of coffee. I did some taste tests from earlier. It tastes really good. On the eight ounce setting, it recommends, like I said, it recommends 1.5 tablespoons. But when I do an eight ounce cake up, I do, eight, cake ups have two tablespoons of coffee in them. So I like to put two tablespoons for eight ounce. But you can vary that if you only want one tablespoon. If you, you can put three tablespoons for eight ounces. You just can't go any more than three tablespoons to that max line on that. Now, one thing I have noticed, this um, brew basket here that holds the coffee gets extremely hot. They recommend waiting five minutes before you open this up and deal with this brew basket. I definitely recommend that because this, this th now I can touch it here, this is fine, but this whole area gets really, really hot. You can see the steam coming off there. There's, there's how it brewed the coffee. So it looks like it shot the water in there pretty good. And then here's that other filter. And then there's the top. So I don't have any sense of, I don't smell any plastic. I don't, I didn't taste any plastic when I um, my, made my cup of coffee. So yeah, I do like that that brew basket having that little handle on it. Cause I can take this over the trash can or my recycling bin, beat that out. I am gonna have to wash that off a little bit cause there'll be some coffee grounds in there, but I just like to having that handle. It's very nice. So here's that other basket. I would clean this one too. It's got a little bit of uh, sediment down in there. So I would clean both of these. So cleanup was very simple. Both of these filter baskets, I just had a little brush, brushed them off, cleaned them out. Very simple. And I can see I might have to wipe this off sometimes and maybe, maybe wipe that out once in a while or just do fresh water rinses to kind of clean out that area. Okay, so now let's brew a 14 ounce. Let's use this as a scoop. It's very simple to use it as a scoop. Again, there's the max line. And I've measured this. Again, it's almost three and a half tablespoons. Now I do have some coffee on the outside. Let's just set it right there. You gotta get a bigger cup. 14 ounces is a pretty big cup. Now you're probably gonna you brew it into a travel mug, but I've got this to show. You can fit a seven inch, tra seven and a quarter inches travel mug in there. So here's the scoop handle in, there's the coffee grounds. Let's close the lid, 14 ounce. That's the brew button, press the brew button. And I added more water to my water reservoir. So again, it starts, it's a little noisy at first when it starts brewing, but it starts brewing right away. And I can hear like a pump running, but it's not loud at all. One seventy five, one eighty, and it looks really rich at first. I'm not getting a bunch of splatters. I originally thought I might, but I'm not. One ninety two. 195, 196. Temperature kind of varies a little bit, but boy, it ramps up quick to around 200. I did see 200 for a little bit. 
Okay, so it's rampant. It's, it's getting towards the end. Nothing gets, you get some steam coming around here, but nothing's too hot. There's the end. That's a big cup of coffee. So in about a minute and a half, it brewed that. That's a really quick. This is really quick. Again, the red light stays on for just a little bit, and then it goes out. That's the brew light, even though it's stopped. And now, see, it went out. But it remembers whatever setting you had last. So, so there you go. I tried this earlier in a travel mug. It stayed warm for a long time. And it's cooled off just a second. But Yeah, so that's a... That's a lot of hot coffee, 170 degrees. You know, it drips a little bit, but nothing too bad. I was expecting that to be kind of a big cleanup. So we lift this handle right here. There's our coffee grounds. Yeah, you can see it kind of shoots the water in there and causes it to, to come up a little bit. But again, that's very hot, but I love the handle. It's not hot at all on the handle. But I accidentally touched that filter one time and it was really hot. Okay, so I've got I've got two tablespoons in this now again of fresh coffee. Let's close the lid. Let's do a bold eight ounce and start and hit the brew button. So it starts brewing right away. I don't notice any difference right now. Maybe the water's coming out a little slower. 180, one almost 190 I saw. Okay, so it's pausing. I did hear the pump stop. So it's not done, so it's pa it paused a little bit. And this is on bold brew. So it makes, it makes you think it's done, but it's not. The red light is still lit, and it, it does a really long pause. That's a really long pause. Now we got a bunch. I mean, it's not a really long pause. It was, it was probably only ten seconds, but just for a brewer, that seemed in the middle of a brewing process. It seemed like a long pause. This has been such a fast one. So there's two hundred. I saw two hundred two. Two hundred three. It's really hot coming out. So that's probably what they're doing for the bold is just brewing a little bit, pausing, and then it finishes the brew. Okay, now it looks like it's done. It does give kind of a gush of water out when it's done. One seventy one. 172. Again, the red light turned off, so we know it's done. Let's take a look up here. There's what we have. So this is extremely um, simple to operate. I'm for, I, you know, it would be nice to see a couple more buttons here, maybe like a 12 ounce or something, but eight and 14, maybe they just wanted to keep it simple. You do have a bold brew. These buttons light up really nice. This is easy to operate. The only parts that are dishwasher safe are this, that filter, and that screen. Again, the tank, but it does have down in there, you can see a place for a water filter. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. It's got a two prong cord. It, it looks really nice and stylish. It's fast and it only does coffee grounds. So thanks everybody for watching.